this episode, my quest continues in England, where I spend the weekend with a local Cornish family. Go out for a drive on historic roads. Ride an endangered breed to a World Heritage Site. Learn about Cornish mining history. And get ready for a proper quest ride on a Welsh pony. So we spent last night just south of Bude and our Airbnb hosts were awesome. They played music for us this morning. Their dog Merck even has his own song. Merck, he is a salty sea dog. He loves life by the sea. Chasing little dogs and seagulls Pays no heed to me Run, 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 boy, run I think we go through there? Okay. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we're on a public footpath right now. We're heading farther south to meet up with Jenna and Jonathan from the Exmoor Pony Society, but we wanted to explore a little along the way. Tintagel is a place that feels mystical from the moment you arrive. And as the legend goes, it is thought to be the birthplace of King Arthur. The old post office. Wow, look at the roof of that. It looks like our roof did. From there, it was about an hour drive to our destination. Cornwall is known for its beautiful beaches that attract millions of visitors each year. But there is so much more to experience, especially when you are invited to the home of a wonderful family, where food, fun, and horses are all a part of daily life. This is so just truly authentic. Yes. <laughs> Brings us back to who we are. Right on. Up, up. Jenna and Jonathan established the stud in 2005. They have Exmoor ponies as well as Welsh ponies and cobs. They're home to many champions and show winners. The ponies are a cherished part of the family, and they do everything from beach rides to point-to-point -point races and historic reenactments. This Exmoor pony gelding named Owley is a champion in the show ring and also happens to be the perfect horse to ride to a World Heritage Site. Mining has been a huge part of Cornish heritage. In the 18th and 19th century, mines in this area were so productive that it was known as the richest square mile in the world. Wheel virgin. Okay. Wheel means a place of work in Cornish. Okay. In the 1900s, half of the world's tin was from Cornwall. A shaft there. Okay. So what you'd have had is a beam engine that would have, a beam that would have stuck out over the top. So as it was pumped up and down at this end, the arm would then operate the pump at the other end. Three hundred eighty-five hey, meters. Oh, there you go. 
from surface. 385. A few miles away is Wheel Coats, a tin mine. It's one of the best known old mining engine houses in the area and also a familiar sight for any fans of the Poldark series. Traffic intrepid mining. I'm gonna try not to die. Navigator. <laughs> Goodbye forever, I've, I've Alyssa. I've never looked into mining as a career before. This isn't even a mine, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> well, if I can't make it through this, I definitely wouldn't have this any is, luck. This is, the, this is the practice run. <laughs> this is the training. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. For breed number 46, I rode Norris, a Section C Welsh Pony. But for this flashy gelding, I needed a little help getting ready for the occasion. Yes, so the, that's Ooh. trendy, the way they poke oh. out. That's like proper show people do that. Okay. After a brief warm-up of both Pony and Judge Luana, it was time for us to learn our pattern. All right. The competition may have been tough, but we were awarded first place, as well as a bucket of My Little Ponies. As our time in Cornwall came to an end, we were treated with an evening meal called cakey tea. Drink. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. You're having cakey tea, um, which is typically Cornish, Cornish, along with pasties. How do you decide what to eat? You just eat some of everything. You know you're on a crazy, packed horse quest trip when you drive that close to Stonehenge, but you don't actually have time to stop. Oh, oh, I killed it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Emma. Oh, we got it. <laughs> All right, we got it this time. Yeah, that was a good one. She's more comfortable driving backwards than I am driving forwards. <laughs>